Thanks for stopping by our YouTube channel. This is Christian Posta. I'm the field CTO at Solo.io. And in this quick video, we're going to take a look at new capabilities coming to Glue Enterprise called Glue Federation, which allows you to manage multiple deployments of the Glue API gateway across multiple clusters, multiple footprints, potentially multiple clouds and do things like configuration management, things like failover and load balancing and so forth. Now Glue is an API gateway built on Envoy proxy intended for cloud environments, but can run on uh, you know, platforms like Kubernetes as well as off of Kubernetes. Glue is open source and at Solo we sell a enterprise offering around Glue called Glue Enterprise that builds on the open source components and adds additional enterprise capabilities uh, like certain levels of uh, security capabilities, things like a developer portal and, um, and Glue Federation, which we'll take a look at today. So if we just real quick set the context, typically people deploy Glue as an edge access proxy or you know gate gateway. And Glue is able to do things like uh, traffic routing, traffic splitting, traffic shadowing, canarying, um, ties in with Prometheus for observability, distributed tracing. Glue Enterprise can do things like web application firewalling and data loss prevention and uh, open policy agent integration and so forth. Now, when you deploy Glue in a some of our larger customers or for customers who are deploying in a, in a way that they need uh, certain levels of isolation or high availability, you might deploy Glue across multiple clusters um, and maybe within a cluster across multiple namespaces and so forth, just depending on the architecture you're going for. But when you start to deploy across multiple clusters, there's a few challenges of doing that. One is um, maintaining configuration, consistency across the clusters, and um, you know having these different clusters enables new capabilities and so that's where the glue federation management plane comes into into play and so that let's take a look at what we can do with glue federation actually in this demo what we're going to see is this this setup we're going to see two different clusters and uh, the glue federation control plane driving the behavior of glue deployed in Two different clusters and we're going to see um, how that works so let's run the demo first thing we're going to see is we we do have two different glue api gateways deployed one on cluster one and another deployment on cluster two so we call these local and remote and we also have a service running on each of these clusters this is the echo service, one running on cluster one, running one running on cluster two. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the glue federation management plane. And so that has been installed successfully. This will give us those components to manage multiple glue deployments across multiple clusters. So we check the status. Looks like that was rolled out successfully. Now what we're going to do is register our clusters with the Glue Federation management plane. We'll register cluster one and cluster two, and then the management plane is going to discover the Glue API gateways running in those clusters, and will then give the capability of a uh, federation, which we'll see here. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at what a federated resource for this deployment looks like. So we have extensions to our virtual service and upstream and other glue objects like the gateway. And, and um, we're call, calling that the federated version of those, of those resources. And we can specify things like where on which clusters we want to deploy this configuration. Now we have two clusters here with two different glue control planes and glue proxies and we're going to deploy our virtual service to both of them using glue uh, federation here so we can see that we just applied this resource it's a it's a crd in kubernetes um, that allows you to use this in a git based workflow if we actually take a look at the yaml itself we can see 
that the controller is correctly placed the virtual services in the respective clusters. Now, if we do use some of the glue, um, the glue command line, we can actually see that a virtual service indeed was created and uh, and the, the route was set, set up. So now if we call it, we can see that if we go through gateway one, we get the response from cluster, the echo service in cluster one. If we go to gateway two, we get the response from the echo service in, in cluster two. So that's that's sort of the, the configuration federation that we're able to do with GlueFed. The next thing we want to see is how can we set up failover so that if services in cluster one start to fail, that the proxy in cluster one, so Glue running in cluster one, is smart enough to say, hey, I can't route to services in this cluster. I need to send them over to the second cluster. So if we come in here and we mark our echo service as unhealthy, and then we try to call it, we'll see that we get a 503 because these are independent API gateways and, and uh, clusters at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to specify a failover scheme, a, a failover scheme for the, for the ga uh, gateway in cluster one to fail over to the resources in cluster two. So let's add this to the glue federation management plane that says it's being created. If we take a look at it, the YAML again, we should see in, in all of the uh, solo um, projects, we heavily use the status field and give a very rich feedback about what's happening when things fail and so forth. We can see that this so far is, uh, has been accepted and is in a good state. If we look at the virtual services under the covers, this one in cluster one, we can see that from the previous configuration federation, we have a working virtual service that routes to a glue upstream, default echo one ten thousand. Now, if we look at the upstream, we're going to see that the the federation management plane actually knows about where those other services exist. Where where is that other echo service? And we can add a priority based and locality weighted load balancing endpoint to our upstream so that we know how to fail over. So if I come over here and let's scale this this uh, echo service back up. We want we want to see it working. All right. So now if we call our service, okay, that works. That's that's what we expected when the when the gateways were separate. Now if we fail our service, which when they're independent, this next you know when we try to call it, it will fail. But now that we've federated it and we've um, uh, supplied some priority and locality based failover, now if I make the call we get the answer from cluster two. So we called the gateway in cluster one, endpoints not available there, so automatically fail over to, um, to, to the gateway and to the services running in cluster two. So that's the, uh, you know, just a sneak peek of the capabilities of the Glue Federation management plane coming in Glue Enterprise. Stop by our uh, website at solo.io, check out Glue, Check out the announcements around Glue Federation. And of course, come to slack.solo.io where you can ask deeper questions and, and get more feedback in real time. Thanks and stay tuned for more announcements and newer videos around those announcements.